Public Relations Officer of the New National Party, Simon Steele, says the party will work towards achieving greater unity among the people, while at the same time working on the national agenda for the country. His comments were made while reviewing the performance of the party which formed the current government following general elections on February 19, 2013. Three years ago, the NNP, led by political leader Dr. Keith Mitchell, won all of the 15 seats being contested. Forward. So when we look at the state of the country back in 2013 and where we are in 2016, notwithstanding the fact that we still have a long way to go, we have started to tackle the issues of unemployment. We've brought unemployment down from, um, from in excess of 40% when we came into office. Um, down to 30%, still far too high, but moving in the right direction. We have an economy that was, as I was saying, in deep recession, that from years of negative growth to now one of the fastest growing economies, if not the fastest growing economy within the region, we're seeing investor confidence um, on the rise again. General Secretary of the Party and Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Roland Bola, says while the party has achieved much, there are still some areas that need to be addressed. In terms of agro-processing, Minister Bola says systems are being put in place to further boost that area. Um, as it relates to agro-processing, it's not only about uh, the fruits or vegetables that we have, but it is also about uh, our ability to be competitive. And we know and we have been saying that for the longest while, that one of the, the things that has um, caused us not to be able to move full stream ahead with agro-processing is the cost of energy. We also have the issue of labor, you know skilled labor, the persons that are able to do what is necessary, and um, the rate that sometimes our people are expected to work for. Let's face it, um, we have very low productivity in this country. From an education standpoint, Minister Anthony Boson says improvements have been made in scholarships with over 450 students benefiting in this area, along with improvement in infrastructure. For the first time under this NNP administration, we were able to award an island scholarship in the area of technical and vocational education because we recognize the importance of TVET for overall um, economic development program because most of the jobs now being created are in the area of ICT and TVET. And therefore, this government had the wisdom and the vision to award um, an island scholarship. In that context also, we can look at the expansion and the re reformation of our curriculum to put more emphasis on technical and vocational education in our schools. According to the party's public relations officer, the focus for the next two year of their five-year term is on achieving the many promises made to the people of the state of Grenada during the 2013 election campaign. Janil Ruben, CC6 Newsnight.